Hi, Denise Quinn, reading aloud for you from my short story, The Greasy Spoon, Chapter 52. He glances over at Maria. She smiles at him. She is dirty. Her hair is matted. Crusty bits have formed in the corners of her eyes and lips. Mud streaks ripple up and down her face and arms and legs. Her clothes, which began the day moderately clean, are now sweat-stained, torn, and streaked with blood and grime. She smells faintly of hog. But when she smiles, his heart lifts, for her smile now reaches all the way to her eyes. I need to take care of something, and then I'll be right back. Okay? See. Si. He checks to make sure nobody is watching him, then pulls the rifles out of the window, opens the door, and stands on the pavement, looking around warily. He walks over to the trunk of Ed's Mercedes and clicks the fob. The trunk pops open, lays the rifles down on the pristine gray carpeting right beside the golf clubs, lifts his head and gazes warily around him, sees nobody pulls Jeb's handgun out of the back left pocket and lays it down gently beside the rifles. When he slams the truck, trunk lid down, the car locks. Nice touch, that. He pats his right back pocket. The hard bulge reassures him. He walks up the steps to the back door of the courthouse, opens the door, and walks inside.